The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce's 24th Annual Convention and Awards Lunch is just a few days away. Carlos Medina is the chairman and he joins us now. Carlos, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. The uh, Hispanic Heritage Month just wrapped up in New Jersey. What was the significance? What did we gain from that? It's really just to put a spotlight on the, all the positive contributions that the Hispanic community makes, and in particular, our organization is concerned with what the Hispanic business population contributes. What are you seeing with Hispanic business in New Jersey right now? What are the challenges? Um, access to capital is always number one, um, and access to training. We'll be launching an entrepreneurship training program in January to help entrepreneurs. So is that... Uh, is that your biggest challenge, you would say, right now, getting access to, uh, to financial services? Yeah, it's like number that? one. When we do uh, informal surveys, it is the number one challenge for small businesses. Why is it so challenging? Um, it's paperwork, and sometimes they don't have the proper background or they haven't been in business enough years to obtain financing. And banks are a little bit more nervous dealing with a small entrepreneur. So some pocket uh, micro-lenders have popped up, and it's become a big industry, the micro-lending industry. And some of that not having access to capital impeding the growth of businesses. Yes, it? correct. All right. Correct. So, Carlos, when you think about some of the other issues now facing Hispanic businesses in New Jersey, uh, what are the issues you say that are unique to Hispanic businesses? Because I think all businesses may be going through some of the same issues you're describing. Yeah, definitely. There's somewhat of a language barrier, so we try to have our literature and our workshops both in English and in Spanish. So that would be one of the unique challenges is just the, the language barrier. And how are they getting around that? We have, we have bilingual events, we have bilingual workshops, we try to translate documents. So if something's on a website, we'll translate it for them. And we try to lobby organizations to have more of their documents in Spanish also. Uh, as far as you know, are any Hispanic businesses finding any resistance to people shopping at Hispanic businesses because there may be a language barrier or anything like that? I don't think so. Uh, many are finding the mainstream is more profitable than even trying to go to an eth ethnic audience, especially the restaurants. We started this program talking about, this interview rather, talking about the event coming up later this week. Tell me more about that. Sure, it's our 24th annual Expo and Awards 24? luncheon. Yeah, 24th year wow. we'll be doing it. It's free to come in, have breakfast, have Goya coffee and network, and we have exciting workshops, access to capital, Business Action Center will be there telling you how to start and how to expand your business. And then we have a unique workshop this year, Latinas and social media. So we'll have some very prominent Hispanic women who uh, will be talking about what they do to uh, promote their businesses. And that's key for business success yes. today if you can yeah. access social media. Yes. I understand Lieutenant Governor is going to be there as well? Yes, Lieutenant Governor will be there. Speaker Prieto will be there. Um, SBA Administrator from Region 2, Kelly Ledette, will be opening up in the ribbon cutting, as will Mayor Diaz, who's the head of the Urban Mayors uh, Association. Now, I understand you may want to be modest, but you were awarded earlier this month. Tell us more about it. Uh, yes, we won an award from the state of New Jersey uh, to have uh, entrepreneurship training. So we will be launching that in January. All right, that's fantastic. So you'll come back and talk to us some more about some of the issues you're challenging and some of the successes you're going to have in the year going forward. Definitely. Carlos Medina of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.